saw you inside your car. This nigga said I will what? show you inside your car. That's what I'm gonna do real quick. All right, now we're good to go. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Tommy G, and today I'm going boots on the ground cover a notorious group of kids, the Kia Boys. These kids are legendary for the amount of cars they are stealing in Milwaukee. Just last year alone, they've stolen 10,000 cars, in particular Kias and Hyundais. Let's roll the tape so I can show you what they do. Oh, yeah. These niggas steal cars Bro. and ride around and them. Kia Boys. Oh, oh my god. Today we're going to be talking to the citizens of Milwaukee. Nigga, that's not a car, bro. That was not a car, bro. Nigga, that was wheels and a the bumper. Kia boys and the Kia boys themselves. Let's begin the story. I feel like a little bit of a war correspondent in my own city right now. I believe everybody has a heart. I really hope to find it in these Kia boys. Have you heard of the Kia boys? Have you heard of the Kia Hell boys? Hell, kids, bro. What the fuck? No, I haven't. I see a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hot up. How do you describe what the Kia boys do? Get out their way, they hot. Yeah? They hot. Man, shut your old ass up, nigga. They hot. Shut your ass up, nigga. Swallow the food, damn, nigga. If you were mayor of the city, what would you do about the Kia boys? Try to make a difference, you gotta start making an example. The mayor, you know, he got his own car set up. He doesn't really know what to do. Yeah, I don't know, maybe he just wants to leave. I sent some jump out boys and make, you know, undercover, get their asses in and clean up the city. <laughs> What? What if you were mayor of the city? What would you do? Lock their ass all in. If I was mayor, I would propose. Nigga, what are you talking about, bro? Key boy, you have to do a thousand hours of trash cleanup. It don't help a little more. Bro. No. Yeah. The world messed up now, man. What should the punishment be if you get caught stealing a car? Give them some time. Sit there. Two out. years, four years, ten years. That's a good ten, twenty years, because that's hard earned cars. Like, She's had twenty years. A Kia boy stole your car. Yes. Her little fat ass. Was it a big financial hit to you? <laughs> Two years, ten years. <laughs> what do you think should be done? I don't know. You gotta catch the niggas. They be going too fast. I don't know. Okay, how many years should someone get for robbing a car? Like, what's a fair punishment? I don't want to put a kid in jail for life. But I don't think it should be a slap on the wrist. Okay. What the fuck? If we were cellmates, I'd play chess with you. Yeah? Do you know anyone who has had a car stolen? Do you know anyone that hasn't gotten their car stolen? Multiple people or just one? Yeah, I have two or three friends who have Guys, this is a man with multiple people in his circle that has had a car stolen. That is crazy. That's crazy. This nigga ugly as fuck, bro. If you had a message for the Kia boys, what would it be? Stop ruining our city. Stop before you get killed. Uh, kill everybody else, man. Why you out there doing it? Stop doing it. Never see your family in the city. Maybe if you work and Hey Ray Mercy, man. Thanks for the follow, my guy. What it is to have something instead of taking from people. Do you feel like there's hope for them in the future or do you think they're too far gone? When I said he'll play chess with him. That means he'll Bro, what the fuck? Let's say you were the mother of a Kia boy. What would you tell you? Snigger sick. Yeah. <laughs> See, guys, this is what I'm talking about. They gave these out for free because that's how much the Kia boys are doing work around here. We had multiple people. Oh, that's my boy. Just a span of 15 minutes. Know somebody or themselves person that had their car stolen by the Kia boys. That is fucking crazy. Nigga said the Kia boys. Who the fuck is the Kia boys, bro? I wish a nigga would try to sell my car, bro. It's scary to think I'm going to meet somebody that seems to have no regard for human life. They will steal your car, all your shit, just for a joyride. And their violence has been so notorious that Man, the just city of Milwaukee had to cancel a fucking basketball game watch party because these kids are so violent. What are you doing, bro? What up, big dog? I'm on your block. All right, we're Fresh, bro. Live. How you guys doing? What can you tell us about what we're about to see right now? Yeah, bro. Hundred K, my goal, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep grinding, bro. How many bro. Kia boys do you think there are in the city? 
hundred? You keep grinding too, bro. I see you doing your thing, bro. Are there any Chevy boys? I hope not, because I got a Chevy over here. It's a whole tutorial on how to do this shit on YouTube. If you see a nigga walking around with a Nigga said special ribs. I told her, can you throw that motherfucker on me? And she said, maybe. Nigga. She said, maybe, nigga. She said, maybe, nigga. It's not no yes, bro. If she was fucking with you, she would have said yes, bro. Nigga, L risk. Wait, hold up, bro. First of all, I'm gonna have to check these real quick. I forgot to text back. W risk. These niggas talking about man. You know what I'm saying? Kia boys that have crashed the car and died? Yeah, and why do you think I ever see somebody ask to drive and then they crash, they took the car and left it the Hold this in front of your face while you talk. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We'll have to find something for you. Here, guys, this is what I'm going to do real quick. All right, now we're good to go. <laughs> what percentage of Kia boys stay strapped when they ride around town? I ain't going to lie, at least 60%. Always got good. Do your moms know that you do this? Shit, she know I got a case for that shit. Exactly. Moms know I got a case for it. That, that's a what does she say? Does she tell you, like, hey, you guys can't be doing this? Look at these freaking thugs, bro. <laughs> yeah, what's your advice to these young guns out here? Man, stop doing that shit. Pick your bag up, line your lines up. What up, big dog? How you doing? You got the car. Blood niggas, thugs, bro. They some thugs, bro. Good to meet you. I'm Tommy G. So, have you heard of the Kia Boys? Yeah, yeah. And the people that haven't heard about them before, how do you describe them? The Kia Boys. Yeah, do their thing on the real. Watch out for them. I'm fucking with them. If I drive a Kia, should I be concerned? Oh, you look up. What advice would you have? What would you want to say to a Kia Boy? Is this block about to get crazy or what? Hell yeah. What's the most daring or brave thing you've done in the car? <laughs> Did you think you were gonna die? Hell no. Are you scared of death? Shit, hell no, that shit go cold. But maybe it can come a little bit later, not today when you're driving out of a sunroof, you know? Yeah, I ain't gonna crash, I got it. <laughs> if you had to guess, the average Kia boy out there, 30 cars, 50 cars, 2 cars? People be on trees, cause some people don't know how to drive, so they gotta steal so many cars cause they run through them. Cause they crash them? Yeah. 200 car thefts, 300 car thefts. What? And are you scared of potentially ever going to jail? You ever think about that? No, I ain't gonna lie. I'm really scared of the black truck shit. Fuck the police. I ain't gonna lie. I'm really scared of the black truck. Other than that, fuck the police. Have you thought about how you would spend that time? Shit, you only gonna do like three weeks shit. It's a misdemeanor. You only do three weeks for stealing a car? Hell yeah, it's a misdemeanor shit. So is there really no punishment for this? Hell no. It's a high speed. That's when you get a felony. How old do you think the average Kia boy is? 12, 11. 12, 11? You know what I was doing when I was 11? I was catching frogs and shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, watch this, watch this, watch this. But this nigga right, bro. <laughs> oh, what? These niggas is doing an interview, and one of the niggas come down the street. That nigga probably was 12 years old, bro. Oh, what did we just see? Right now? Hold on, fat bitch on the porch. How fast do you think they were going? So, do you guys go to school or you skip school and steal cars all day? I go to school. I go to school. I need my education. So, what do you want to be when you grow up? I mean, do you see yourself being an astronaut, a fireman, a mechanic? I ain't gonna Entrepreneur. I want to do HVAC. I ain't gonna lie. HVAC? Dude, that's a really good profession. I feel like you guys would be perfect mechanics, you know what I mean? Like, you, you already are in the business of cars. Nigga said mechanic. Do you know that this city is scared shitless of this right now? Why is this white nigga in the a hood actually interviewing them? pants because of that shit like that. I feel like I need to move my car off the street. All right, guys, honest question, is. honest question. So if that car would have gone out of control and swerved and hit me and I died, 
What do you think should happen to the driver? Dude, he should have got out the way. If the car hit me, it would have been my fault. Hell yeah, yeah. you should have ran. You see that motherfucker. People know when the kid boys would, come through, get up out the way. Would you guys have even have cried at my funeral and brought flowers or anything? I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't I even know you like, that much to, to, to be crying. But I, I'd, I'd be like, damn, bro. Shit, I'd be like, damn, bro. I, got I, right. I asked yeah. them if it hit me, they said it would be my fault. Yeah, they said shit, you should have got, got out the way. way. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, and that's the fucked up part because yeah. they dead serious. That's yeah, a fucked up mentality. It is, it is. And it's like they don't got no sense of sympathy or nothing. Why is no more? You know what I'm saying? Because like, they could be stealing a single mom's car that if she misses hey, that this car. Hey, this nigga sneak this in. Bro, this nigga sneak this to the other nigga, bro. How would you sneak this into the nigga, bro? This nigga sneak this in, bro. Bro, this nigga a hoe, bro. She gets evicted from her place, and her whole family's life is fucked. How the fuck you sneak this that fast, bro? Nigga trying to see if a nigga's looking, bro. He know you're gonna say that shit to your face, bro. Hey, they just need a better family structure. They need a male role model. I mean, that could be true in some cases, but some of these people have that. A lot of these kids really good kids, but they follow it. A lot of kids really have home a lot by their Yeah, that's what's wrong with the generation, bro. Most of these niggas is followers, bro. Nobody want to lead the way, bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas can't lead the way. Niggas want to be followers, bro. You come outside, you're going to do what you want to do. So you really can't blame it on the parents. No. Young men like to push the boundaries. Yeah. I think now with these cars, they testing the boundaries of death almost. They really are. I mean, that was crazy. They could have driven through that car right there. Yeah, hell yeah. They could have hit that curb and started flipping at any time. Should we check out the aftermath? Yeah, let's go check it out. All right. Okay, so we have to be ready. If they swerve back around, we have to hide. Because I don't trust these guys to drive properly. He looked like KD, like, well, nigga who? Tire marks? They swerved into someone's front yard. Look, right here and right here. Ten feet from the school. We're going to interview a lady that almost got hit. Are you okay? How close to you did that come? Like, pretty close. That was fucking crazy. How close was that? <laughs> Is that normal? Nah, she bad, bro. She like mid. Before? Yeah, every day. Every day. That wild? Well, y'all got a hood pass courtesy of the mob. Gotta watch y'all. Niggas say you want to be white so bad. Dude, I have a girlfriend I love very much I need to go home to. You gonna go home, man. Like, She's my sweet cheeks, you know what I mean? <laughs> my sweet cheeks. What he said thick as hell is crazy. Man. man, he was doing 80 and tried to eat break. Can't do that. The guy's on the fucking car. The guy don't know. Oh, fuck. My car's up there. I don't want my car up there. You see people running for their life up there, dude? Did you see that? These kids are gonna fucking die. I'm getting... Why, hey, why did he just I'm say that, bro? Hey, hey, you wanna see that? We how we was why did he just say that? I'm getting to see that. These kids are gonna fucking die. This I'm nigga said these kids are gonna fucking die, die bro. Hey, hey, you see that? What is wrong with this nigga? That was cra crazy. Wheels, you got some cojones, man, that's for sure. Hell yeah. Have you ever gotten yeah, to a police chase kidding, before? Yeah. They can't. They can't chase because they, well, they can, but like, look, after you're doing so much dangerous shit, they well, got to terminate well, it. You're a reckless man, you know that? <laughs> Are you ever sitting in the back of the car thinking, I really wish I wasn't here because this is scary as fuck? No, I don't drive in the back seat. If I'm in the joint, I'm in the front seat. So you're all, either you're driving or, or nothing? Yeah. I'm Mr. Me. Ebert. They call me Mr. Ebert. Where do you guys put these things? Shit, what you do? You drive through the hood, you see a bend the house. And then you see if they got an open garage, should the garage will be parked in it. Sometimes your car be there, sometimes it won't, shit. Hello, sir. How you doing? I hope UPS gives him the extra little kick for this route. Dude, this is crazy. Sir, can I ask you another question, Professor Ebrake? How are you going to be an astronaut or an entrepreneur if you're getting yourself into trouble with these Kias? Shit, I don't even ride joints. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. Like only time I got in a stolen car, say, say if my boy called me like. Gray hoodie. Like, you can't even see the nigga face, bro. Y'all are just talking. Just being a Kia boy get you checks. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. Bitch, suck your dick. You get you pull up in the joint. The bus just hit you. They hit a bus. Can you put it on speaker? Guys. How the bus hit you, bro? Cause, bro. It's the thing that's, that I'm trying to process right now. Like, to me, nobody asked you. Why the fuck wild. would you be but talking you, just, about now? What day is it? Tuesday, huh? Yeah. Just another Tuesday for you. What? So can you describe what you're doing right now? Oh, shit. My, these motherfuckers in the system, they know these very well. How do you actually steal a Kia? Is it an easy process? Hell yeah. Can you show us how it looks to steal a car? I can show you inside your car. Okay, let's do a simulation of him stealing my car. You got a flathead. You can see the flathead right here. And then you would, you would want to pull it down and then just like break it down. And then it comes like a little a silver key. You just put the flathead in and break it. Then you start it with a charger key, like a, like this. 
like if you used to have a Honda Air T, you gonna you never you gonna never touch me because of you, You see how fast I reach right here? It's an yeah. instinct. <laughs> I would have been gone to your shit. <laughs> Sir, I would have been very sad if you stole my car. And can you picture me at my house crying? When he know how to anymore? break into cars. And what do you think about that? You got insurance. What so you I like thug niggas, huh? Should have had it. That's illegal. <laughs> What the fuck is that? Oh hell no! Come on, bro. <laughs> you know how was that an ad, bro? What the hell? Stealing a car. Yeah. You have friends that have gotten in trouble and are in the system right now or in jail right now. Yeah. There they go right uh oh, there. here we go. I ain't used to do no shit like that back in my day. See, and that's what I say, like not, this not shit, to that extreme. This shit changed so much. Go roll, roll, roll. Oh shit. Oh Why is they God. just going around? Hey, not the Chevy though. Not the Chevy though. Don't hit the Chevy. <clears throat> Hold on. And this is why I need help on my Patreon. We're trying to take shit to the next level right now. We're doing more angles, exactly. more cuts, more scenes. We're on the block kind of doing dangerous shit. This is some wild shit. So, um, Patreon link in bio. Every time they pass my car, I'm like, please not my car, please not my car. These kids are like Milwaukee, like bro. Fucking ping pong out. to them. That's how casual they are. They're gonna smack your ass with a, a car, a Kia. Yeah, they calling the police. Okay, shit's getting hot. Yeah, yeah y'all see, I wasn't gonna smack that motherfucker. I told y'all. Bro, boy, yeah. I'll tell you guys like this, all right? First, thanks for giving us a show that was fucking something I've never seen before in person. <laughs> the other thing is, as like a big brother, I just hope that you guys stay okay, stay safe. I don't want to see anything bad happen to you guys, okay? Yeah. All right. Um, hey, yeah. but make sure y'all blur out the plates. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they had charges with that shit. But I wish the best for you guys. I hope you stay safe. Or maybe you become a professional boxer. Maybe you become an astronaut. Yeah. You know what I mean? So do you guys got any final thoughts no, or anything you want to say to the camera? No, what about to the people in Milwaukee out there? Man, stop trying to... Pack oh, joints down. Stay dangerous, man. Summer, bloody summer, man. Y'all, a lot of niggas gonna die. It ain't meant for a lot of niggas. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. Niggas saying, look, the crazy That's thing it. about That's it is, it. them Keep niggas saying right, let's that, get out of here before. and no disrespect, bro. One of them niggas gonna die. One of them two niggas that just walked away, they walking. Or oh, then it's gonna be, man, RRP my nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? This nigga is an MP. These some NPCs, bro. NPCs right here. All right, guys, take care. That's it. That's the key. Yeah, walk away with the hands in the pockets. Fellas, I think it's.